1936 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as MS-66 read by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, this coin represents the second of three significant double die obverse 1936 Lincoln cents listed in the latest edition of the Cherry Picker's Guide, FS-102. Strong doubling is evident on the date, in God we trust, and liberty. The undertype are in liberty shows a broken left leg. This issue is decidedly rare at the MS-66 grade level, with the red designation, and neither of the leading grading services have certified any coins in higher numeric grades. It was sold for $2,400. Number 7. 1931 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS-66 read by PCGS and later endorsed by CAC. The low mintage 1831 S is a well-established series key, although mint state examples exist in relative abundance up to the premium gem level. This lustrous and well-struck MS-66 red scent is original and attractive, housed in a previous generation green label PCGS holder with CAC endorsement. A few pinpoint carbon flecks exist, but not many, and the occasional tiny surface marks are equally minor. It was sold for $3,240. Number 6. 1934 Lincoln Scent in Mint State 68. A magnificent yellow gold representative that features booming luster and pristine preservation. The strike is sharp, and marks are limited to a hair thin vertical line east of the E and 1. Carbon is absent altogether. None are graded finer at either leading service, as of November 6. This true gem ended up selling for $3,360. Number 5. 1935 S. Lincoln Cent. Desirable conditional rarity in mint state 67 red. The 1935 S was saved in roll quantity, but most mint state examples are in MS64 to MS66 grades. Red superb gems are rare. None are certified finer, save for a solitary MS67 plus red NGC example. This sun gold specimen displays smooth, radiant surfaces and a good strike. A trio of minuscule marks on the upper right obverse quadrant are all that limit the grade. It fetched a sum of $5,280 at auction. Number 4. 1937 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS-68 read by PCGS. The 1937 D. Cent mintage was less than one-sixth of the Lincoln Cent coinage at Philadelphia that year. A number of rolls were set aside by collectors and dealers of the day, but at the MS-68 level, the issue becomes a major conditional rarity. The present superb gem offers pristine apricot gold surfaces separated from perfection by only a pinpoint fleck on each side. It was sold for $6,600. Number 3. 1931 D. Lincoln sent in MS-66 plus red condition. CAC proven superb gem. The 1931 D. has a meager mintage of 4,480,000 pieces. Red gems are merely scarce but at the MS-66 red level, the issue becomes rare. This unabraded premium gem has uniform wheat gold color save for a hint of plum red near God, and a few tiny flecks on the reverse. It was sold for $7,800. Number 2. 1926 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS-65 red and brown by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, Lincoln Cent registry collectors know that the 1926 S is a low mintage and little saved key date in red mint state. Gems are obtainable in red and brown condition, and knowledgeable collectors aspire to obtain examples as close to full red as possible. The present gem displays extensive rose red color, with a few subtle gray freckles on the lower reverse denying the coveted full red assessment. It ended up selling for $9,000. Number 1. 1944 D. Steel Wheat Penny. The very famous transitional alloy error. This coin comes with AU details and was cleaned according to NGC. Copper was an important alloy for the U.S. military during World War II, and 1,943 dated cents were struck in zinc-plated steel instead of bronze. The bronze alloy returned for 1,944 dated cents, but a small number of those coins were inadvertently struck on the prior year's planchets. PCGS estimates 25 to 30 1944 Philadelphia steel cents. Only two 1944 San Francisco steel cents are known. The 1944 Denver steel cent is intermediate in rarity, with just seven known examples. The present silver-gray example is subdued but sharply detailed and spot-free. Marks are minimal. 
It was sold for $21,600 on November 16, 2023. So that wraps up today's episode. Hope you found this information helpful. Please consider subscribing to our numismatic channel for more captivating and informative coin-related content. God's will, see you in the next episode.